Hello everyone. In this session, we're going to continue with some more Linux command and precisely in this session, we're going to see user command. So if you want to see that who is the active user currently, currently inside the Debian system, you can simply write uh, id here and you will see that the user is root here, right? So he is a user id, this is, he is inside the group id and he is also inside the group, right? So if you want to see that, who is the, uh, show the last login to the system, if you want to see all those users who had previously logged into the system, you can simply write type last last and you will see all these users, root root, actually there is only one none root, another user uh, who had, uh, you know, on the 27th of August uh, on 3 or 6. He just had a, a login to the system. So you can see that as well. You can also see that who logged inside the system with the help of who command. And you can see that currently I am, uh, it means I am root is being inside the system, logged in into the system. Now, uh, next command is if you want to add one more user, how can you add it? By a simple command known as add user add user and give the name of the user that you want to you know log in so you can simply say that uh, maybe jack if you do that you see that it will add a person or a user named jack and you can see adding user jack so inside user it is jack now and it had also uh, you know added uh, this jack user inside the group so now jack is not only user it is also inside the group right so you can give the password uh, you can also give retype password and I do not want to give any of the information because that's okay. So I have added uh, user Jack, but you see that Jack user is not actually uh, uh, what you can say a pseudo or a root user. It's just a, a non-administrative or a simple non-root user here. So if I, if I type like su dash Jack, if you see, I'm so sorry, I think I had done some mistake here. I need to do this. So you can see I am going to be, uh, I'm going to be now, if you see that if I do id here, you can see I am jack now, not root. And you see that my function, um, I mean the terminal is also being changed from hash to a dollar. That means I'm a non-root user. I cannot perform any, any root uh, command I cannot use. So if I type like sudo uh, apt update, it will not work, okay? Although it doesn't need, but uh, if I try to do it, you can see that Jack is not in the sudo's file and this incident will be reported. So Jack is not a root user here. So if you want to add this Jack into the, uh, you know, this uh, sudo's file, how can you do that? First of all, I need to get back to my, uh, you know, root shell. And how can you do that with the help of su dash earlier root user? And now I am, I, I get back to my, uh, you know, previous or earlier shell. Now I am root user and actually I'm in, I mean, I'm in the root. So what you can do here to add Jack into the sudoers file, you can simply type user mode here, user mode, and then A for append and capital G for group, and then sudo Jack, I'm sorry. So what you can do here is basically, actually Jack is inside the group, if you remember. So I need just, I just need to append it so that it, it gets into the sudoers file here. So if I, hit enter here, you can see that it is actually, uh, you know, uh, sudoers. Now, if I just, uh, uh, if I go like su jack, and you can see now that uh, I can, I can do like sudo apt update. However, it will not give me any kind of error here that su jack is not in the sudoers file and will try to update it. But as you can see, I'm not connected to any internet connection, so I cannot do it. But uh, although I, I can do something like this as well, sudo, uh, ls slash root if I sorry apologies so you can see now uh, I can I can do that with the help of sudo I can enter into the root directory and I can check all the things right so earlier I cannot use it the sudo command uh, because that jack is not in the sudoers file now jack is inside the sudoers files okay so in that way you can do it and although as I told you that jack is a user but jack is also in this in the group file you can see that so and root if I do that and come back to here and you just verify it groups uh, and then just type the jack and you can see here that jack sudo so jack is actually in the sudoers file you can see right so in this way you can verify as well okay so the next command is we're gonna see that some disk command okay disk 
command what you can what you can understand by the disk command is if you want to see that how much free disk is available on your system uh, free and used space on your on your system how can you check that with the help of df command that means disk free d is d uh, d is disk and f is free so disk free so if i hit enter here you're going to see that uh, how much free and used space on your on your system is going to tell you so you can see that there are file system and used is this and available is this and use how much so you can see that a root directory had used almost 30 percent of my disk so in that way you can check that out right the next command is if you want to see that how much disk is being used uh, specifically used so du specifically is, is going to tell you that how much uh, how file and directory had used the disk so this command is basically going to tell you that uh, that your files and directory is taking how much of disk so you can also append a and h and uh, and just it will tell all the files and uh, of directories that how much it had taken so you can see that mozilla oh i mean <laughs> this is going to be a very long list it's just for mozilla right now i mean it will tell um, all about it okay so you can check that out i think uh, that clears all i'm sorry Okay, so the next command is if you want to see that disk usage of your current directory, how can you do that? Is du dash sh, and you will you will see that the current current directory I'm right now in the home directory, so it will tell you the disk usage of the current directory. The ah command is basically for all the files in directory, the disk usage, and that sh command is specifically for the current directory. I, I do not understand. I think uh, no issue. I can. I think my computer is very, very, very slow, but I can go to here and then, I'm sorry, uh, if I do like the u dash sh, then maybe it will tell me. So uh, this command will take uh, actually a lot of time, but uh, you can, you can check that out, right? Yeah. Okay. So the next command is if, uh, if you want to see that uh, how many mount point in your file system is available, what you can do here is you can simply type find mnt and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, find mnt. Okay. And it will tell you all those, you know, mounted uh, file mounted point in your file system. So there are Dave PTS, Dave SHM, uh, run lock. Uh, and then some system files available so this way you can check the all mounted points now let's suppose that uh, if you want to see the file permission commands then how can you change the read write and execute permission for a specific file so let's say i'm on the cd desktop uh, and inside that i let's say i have a file touch uh, new.txt uh, let's say i have uh, where is it yeah so i have a new.txt now see that if you want to see that what kind of file permission this new.txt file is having so you can simply type ls dash l to see that uh, new.txt has it is a file actually and it, it has a read write permission for user read permission for group and read permission for others right so this is the earlier permission now you, i can i can change this permission let me take the another shell here and uh, i'll tell you this is my this is my new.txt earlier version and now see if i if you want to change the permission like if you want to give a read write execute to everyone what you can do you can type ch mode then 777 and just type uh, i think i need to go to the desktop so that you can understand and if you simply say here ch mode uh, 777 and then just new.txt and if you do that now if you type ls dash l you see that earlier it was read write and then read and read and read now if you see that read write execute read write execute and read write execute for three users i mean user groups and other users right so this way you can change so if you want to if you want to simply give the permission to the full permission to the owner and read and execute permission to group and others what you can do here is basically you can simply change the number 7 Five 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 means here you can give a read and execute permission to group and others, right? Not write permission. Write permission uh, is going to be seven, right? So here you just need to type new.txt, and if you see ls dash l, you see that now only read write execute permission is for the user, and execute and read and execute is going to be uh, is going to be for others. 
okay so read permission here read permission and execute permission to group and only execute permission for others right this way you can change and now if you want to give full permission to the owner and uh, uh, read and write to group and others what you can do here is uh, basically uh, you can simply type 766 so ch mode 766 new.txt and now if i do that i'm sorry uh, here you can see here that read write execute is for is for user full permission then read and write for my groups as i told you and then again read and write uh, for owner here it was only read and execute for groups and execute for only uh, the uh, the owner right so this way you can do it now if you clearly see that clearly see this ls dash l if i do that then this new.txt has a user or the owner is a root now if you if you if you want to change the owner how can you change that is let let's see this so i'm going to clear this screen as well because i need to perform here so what you can do here you can use john c h o n that means uh, ownership if you want to change you can give jack here jack is my new user as i told you and if you simply say i'm sorry i think i need to give new.txt and now if I type ls dash l you see that my owner is being changed to jack now from root to jack right so these are some of the file commands uh, file permission commands that is going to be helpful uh, when we going to perform uh, you know certain uh, attack and certain analysis on the on the attack as well as in the uh, defending mechanism right thank you so much guys and I'll see you in the next session